I got good old fashioned airmail today from I say Ding Dong in the UK. This time black roundels and white racing numbers, number 42, and some advertising stickers, Magneti Marelli, and an accompanying instruction starting with I always find a pink gin steadies the nerves before I start work. A pims may be substituted in warm weather for the colonies. Isn't that wonderful? So now to the garage and on with the work. Welcome to the Ultimus Dealer YouTube channel. This is all about owning and using a classic Italian sports car. Remember, this is my opinion, but if you get it, I love it. Now that I have uh, all the lids and doors back on the car, it's time to uh, apply the, the decals. And I have my own racing number in the Danish uh, Race Association, number 42, for obvious reasons. Um, I, I'm looking into uh, black roundels here. I actually like the idea that the, the black is going over the bootlet into the bodywork but I don't want to cut up the number, so it's a bit difficult to get enough room for that. I did actually have a similar setup on the other side here with a white roundel when I first uh, put numbers on my car and it went all the way up on the, the rear window here, uh, the other side, and that looked uh, okay, but I, I have to uh, think about that. It looks good in combination with the number plate and I'll, on the other side here I'll have the Bonici Marelli uh, sticker as I did uh, before. On the front end I'll also use the black background um, with white numbers. I'll have it under this uh, trim part here of course and uh, I think it'll uh, look uh, really good. Positioning uh, numbers on the side of the car is uh, it's very difficult. Oh well, it's a delicate task and you have to really pay attention to uh, the balance of the car. Many uh, would maybe have the knob in the middle of the door, but that's uh, way too long forward. You have to uh, position it balancing between the wheels and also the weight of the car and where the driver is. So I think um, more or less just here at the, at the door handle and then as low as possible in order to get the right balance up and down. Uh, and I, I actually like uh, the whole expression of the Ujima Stile car driving in everyday traffic with numbers. Some people say the police won't allow it, but I've never been stopped by police for that reason anyway. It's just like uh, driving on the racetrack with your number plates. Some people say you cannot do that. Well, if anybody says that to me at a racetrack, I'll just pack up my stuff and go back home. This is uh, all about racing uh, my car like they did in the, in the good old days in 1959. So, I think I'll actually put it uh, in this position. It's difficult. Decisions, decisions. I've got a few uh, shots at it because I bought, of course, more stickers than I need. So let's see how this looks. It's also a matter of how to stretch it properly. This is, of course, both this both uh, concave and, and convex. It's a bit difficult. First, a soap solution, wet application. didn't work. How about a dry application?
these kinds of um, stickers with a support film, it's much easier to, uh, to align everything. I really love to remove this cover tape because look at the contrast here between the white and the red. And there's always a bit of curvature on these surfaces. Uh, it always surprises me with the bubbles. And then the trick for the bonnet number, the idea is to uh, cover this with the black roundel and then um, have the four and the two either side of the trim part. The trim part, of course, going on top of the round. So I'll have to take that off. Another idiot at work. So I tried my best to save the folds and cracks from uh, this special curvature. But maybe I should have put it over here on the side instead, but I want to cover the 42. Um, now the number two is going in here. Yeah. So, putting this uh, tape in here to indicate where the where the trim part will be, the trim strip.
Yeah. 